and welcome to TJ's Music Vault. I am TJ Randolph and thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post a video. Um, on my channel, I like to share, reminisce, react, and um, just, you know, talk about songs from the soundtrack of my life from the late 60s to the early 2000s. I like to reminisce and think about what I was doing when and where. Uh, relive some of those memories and you know so amazing that so many songs have lasted through the test of time and no matter when I hear them it just takes me back to that moment and uh and I could just hear it all day long whether it be you know some early rap some rock, soft rock some a little bit hard rock uh jazz um R&B pop all of it okay uh, I came of age in the 80s, specifically 1985 when I graduated from high school. So a lot of songs you may hear will be 80s heavy, probably. Um, I thank my mom for the gift of music. You know, you know, early on Saturday mornings, my mom would have us up early cleaning to her albums. And I think because of that, I have a healthy appreciation for so many genres of music. Now I'm going to have to go to here. All right, I'm going to have to go there. I'm sorry, but I got to go there. I heard through the grapevine I heard through the grapevine that J-Lo is going to do a tribute to Whitney Houston for the Grammys. And when interviewed, she had the nerve, the audacity, and the unmitigated gall to say with a straight face that she believes that Whitney Houston's songs are compatible with her vocal range. Now, I am not a J-Lo hater. I am not. But stay in your lane. Okay? <laughs> stay, stay in your lane. I like J-Lo. I think she's a pretty good actress. I like some of her music. She's a hell of a dancer. Fabulous bot, but stay in your lane. She says she's going to sing I Will Always Love You and I, I Have Nothing. Okay, let's think about I Will Always Love You. When that song, when she redid that song, that, that, <laughs> it took over the airwaves to, it took, it, it took that song to, it skyrocketed that song surpassing Dolly Parton's version who who wrote the song. Whitney put her stamp on it and it is you got to you got to come strong if you're gonna sing that. And I'm you know as much as I love Whitney Houston in her latter years she couldn't even keep up with her own range from before. Because of all the things she went through. She still sounded good, but definitely not like she did when she made those songs. So what makes you think <laughs> that you go, girl? But anyway, okay. So I'm going to go back into the 80s. I'm going to uh, talk about this song. Uh, Didn't We Almost Have It All? But this came out in 87. I think this may have been from her first album. I can't remember. It may have been from her first album. But this is a live version. And it gets it shows you her range back in the day. Oh, my gosh. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. She's going to sing, didn't we all almost have it all? It's uh, live. Let's go ahead and do it. Once again, we can take the night into Do you hear 
the way she slow, soft, and get just, ooh, mm, I don't know what you call it, but she got it. Didn't we almost have it all? Okay, I have chill bumps. The hair on my arm is <laughs> to go from such softness to such power and then bring it back in effortlessly. Oh my God, we don't have that no more. I'm just, if we do help me, I wanna know. The way you used to touch me felt so fine. We kept our hearts together down the line a moment in the soul can last forever comfort and keep us help me
still have a hard time. You know, my sister still can't listen to some of her music. And she is definitely, Whitney Houston is definitely part of the soundtrack of my life. You know, every young girl wanted to emulate her. I sang many of her songs and talent shows. Back, you know, if I really would have kept up my voice, you know, maybe I could have had a run at it. Um, I sang her rendition of the national anthem at my commissioning ceremony. I sang it at a military ball when the person that was supposed to sing it didn't show up. So she left an indelible mark on music history. And I really hope that um, Jennifer Lopez really digs deep to honor her appropriately because no matter you know the the trouble she had with drugs notwithstanding she was an amazing voice of our time and she deserves to be honored appropriately let me know what you think in the comments until next time ciao for now